Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically send SMS or WhatsApp messages from your WordPress contact forms through Twilio. The Twilio add-on by WP Forms allows you to automatically send SMS or WhatsApp messages after a user fills out and submits a form on your site. With that said, let's jump right in. Before we do anything on WordPress, we'll first need to create and set up our account on Twilio. This will also involve purchasing a Twilio phone number and creating a message template to send WhatsApp messages. After signing up and verifying your identity on Twilio, you'll end up on the Twilio dashboard. In order to send messages through the WP Forms integration, you'll need to purchase a Twilio phone number. Twilio automatically gives you $15 of credit, which you can use to purchase the number. So from the dashboard, click on phone numbers on the left side, then go to manage and buy a number. On the next page, you'll see a list of available numbers you can purchase with your free credit. Select a number and click on the buy button. When you do, a confirmation will appear showing you the monthly fee to maintain this phone number, as well as a list of things you can do with it. Please note that if you purchase a US local number to send SMS messages to phone numbers in the United States, you'll need to complete their A2P 10 DLC registration, which is an industry requirement that helps prevent spam and protect customers. Without completing this registration, you will not be able to send automated messages to US customers. If you need details on how to complete this registration process, you can find a link to Twilio's written guide in the video description below. When you're ready, click on the blue Buy button to complete your purchase. Our next step is to create a message template. These templates are required for sending WhatsApp messages, so if you're only planning on sending SMS notifications, you can skip ahead in the video. To create message templates, click on Messaging from the left side menu, then select Content Template Builder. Click on the Create Your First Content Template button. You'll then see a form where you'll need to enter some required information about your template. Enter a name for your template, but be sure to only use lowercase alphanumeric characters and underscores. In the Template Language dropdown, select the language you want to use for messages. Under Content Type, you'll see a few options you can choose from to format your message. Your choice will depend on whatever best suit your needs. In our example, we're going to go with the text option. When you're done, click the Create button. On the next page, you'll be able to configure the content you'd like to include in your message. In the Body field, you can write whatever message you'd like to send. Below the body field is an option called Add Variable. You can use variables to pull data from a submitted form to include it in your message. When you add a variable, they'll appear as curly braces with numbers in the body field, so you can think of them as placeholders for any form data you're going to want to add. When you finish setting up your message, click on the Save and Submit for WhatsApp Approval button at the bottom of the page. A pop-up will then appear asking you to provide some sample values for each variable you're going to use. This is to help WhatsApp understand how you're going to be using this template. If you already have an idea of what information you're going to use for each variable, write in a sample of it in each variable field. In my case, my first variable is going to be used to pull in a user's name from the form's name field, and the second variable will be used to pull in their email address from the email field. If you don't have an exact idea just yet, or if it changes later on, don't worry. You'll be able to map whatever form fields you'd like to these variables, so you can always change your mind. Now that we've set up our message template, we can move on to connecting our Twilio account to our WordPress site. To do this, we're going to need two pieces of information from our Twilio account, the account SID and authorization token. To find these, go back to your Twilio dashboard by clicking on Account Dashboard on the top left corner of the page and scroll to the bottom of the page to find a section called Account Info. There you should see the two pieces of information we're going to need. Now open a new tab and log into your WordPress site. If you haven't done so already, you'll need to install and activate the Twilio add-on, so go to WP Forms, Add-ons, find the Twilio add-on, then install and activate it. Once it's activated, Go to Settings under WP Forms on the left, then click on Integrations. Find the Twilio integration and click on it to reveal its settings. Here you'll see three fields, one for the account SID, authorization token, 
and one for the connection's name, which will be for internal use only. Tab back to Twilio, copy the account SID and authorization token, and paste them into their respective fields in WP Forms on your site. When you're done, click on the Connect the Twilio button. You should then see a green connected status next to the integration. Now that Twilio is connected to our WordPress site, we can head into the form builder and add a connection to one of our contact forms. In the form builder, click on the marketing tab on the left, click on the Twilio tab, and then click on Add New Connection on the right. Write in a name for the connection or leave it as it is. And when you're done, click OK. Afterwards, select the Twilio account you just connected from the drop down, and you'll see some additional settings appear. In the Send As drop down, select what type of message you'd like to send either SMS or WhatsApp. Depending on what you select, the following settings may change slightly, so let's go through SMS first. In the next drop down, select which phone number you'd like to send these messages from. Any phone numbers listed in this drop down are numbers you've purchased in your Twilio account. In the Send To drop down, you can specify which phone numbers these notifications will be sent to. The Phone Fields option will send these messages to any phone number a user enters in the phone number field in your form. Selecting Verified Phone Numbers will cause another drop down to appear where you can select from among any phone numbers you've verified in Twilio. Finally, in the Message field, you can write in whatever you'd like your SMS messages to say, and you can click on the Show Smart Tags text above the box to include any field values in your message. Now let's select WhatsApp from the Send As dropdown. These settings vary only just slightly from the SMS settings. Like with SMS messages, you can select a phone number from the Send From field and choose to send messages to either the phone number a user enters in your form's phone field or any verified numbers in Twilio. One of the biggest differences between sending SMS and WhatsApp messages is that WhatsApp requires you to use a message template. Since we just created one in Twilio, we'll be able to select it from the Message Template dropdown. Since our template contained variables, we'll see another section appear called Template Variables. On the left column, you'll see the two variables we added in Twilio, and on the right, you'll be able to select which form field will correspond with each variable. The other big difference is when selecting WhatsApp over SMS messages is you can enable what's called Sandbox Mode which allows you to test WhatsApp messaging before you go live or before you set up a full WhatsApp business account. This sandbox mode will allow you to test your integration without requiring WhatsApp approval. To begin setting this up, first click on the toggle to enable sandbox mode, and then you'll need to connect your phone number to the Twilio WhatsApp sandbox. In your Twilio dashboard, go to Messaging, try it out, and select Send a WhatsApp message. On this page, Scroll down to the Connect WhatsApp Sandbox section where you'll see a unique code along with the Twilio phone number. You can connect to the sandbox by sending the join code to the number displayed, or you can scan the QR code with the WhatsApp app on your phone. Once you send the code, you'll see a confirmation message in WhatsApp letting you know that your number is now connected to the sandbox so you can begin your testing. When you've finished your testing, be sure to return to the Twilio settings in the WP Forms form builder and disable sandbox mode. When you've finished configuring your Twilio settings, save your changes and you're all set. You now know how to send SMS or WhatsApp messages from your contact forms through Twilio. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle Group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page to connect with one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.